arrangement you'll be needing for this tutorial is your waist cycle first measurement and your full skirt length. So, looking now for this um, tutorial. I'll be using my waist measurement, which is um, 31. So I'm adding 20 allowance to it to that 31 because I'm going to be adding my zipper allowance. That's all. So making it 33. So I'm dividing my 33 by 3.142. That is the formula I'm using. Your waist circumference measurement with your allowance that you added to it divided by 3.142 so what i got was 10.5 the full length of my measurements of my gown is 44 so i added the 10.5 to be 44 then i'm getting 54 i'm not going to use 54 because i'm going to be emily the skirt and i will sew so i'm adding extra one inches so i'll be working with 55.5 that's all thank you so let's go to how to make right now i'm measuring 55.5 on one side of the fabric and once i got my 5.5 i'm going to be notching it so i'll know that that's ready 55.5 stops I'll do the same thing for the other side of the fabric. I'll measure 5.5. And I'll measure 55.5 twice because I'm going to put my fabric on fold. So right now I'm folding it. So I'll get to 55.5. So that's what I'm doing right now. Make sure that when you are placing this on your pattern paper, on your pattern table, or on the floor, make sure it's smooth against the floor or against the table. So you don't have any problem or complications at the end of the day. So I'm going to fold on bias and that's what I'm going to do now can you see like a triangle so I make sure that everything is smooth adjust it okay mm -hmm. next I'm going to do I'm going to be marking 55.5 on the fabric directly on the fabric I make sure that my 55.5 is correct. Okay, this is where 55.5 is reaching on the fabric. I'm marking that point. I'm doing all through the fabric. Marking across the fabrics like so. 55.5. And at the edge also 55.5. Just make sure that your markings are correct. Then I connect my points. Like the way you see me doing. Do just the way you see me doing it on the screen. Next, I'm going to mark my radius, which is 10.5. 10.5. That's the radius of your measurements. After that, I'm going to cut it. So, I've taken my scissors. I'm going to cut out the radius. Cut, cut, cut. So, the radius is out. Can you see? But next, I'm going to cut the end part of the skirt. So I'm cutting it. I'm done cutting the skirt. And this is what your skirt will be looking like. After cutting out the radius, 
part and the end part of the skirt. So this is what you will have. Here you notice that one part of the skirt is shorter. What you have to do is to take the fabric, the remaining fabric, and fold in such a way that it's folded at one end. Because that is going to be the center point. So you don't want to join it at the center front. So don't make sure that it's folded like this. Don't let it have any slits because you don't want it to be looking rough. Because that is going to be your center front. The next thing you are going to do is to overlap the fabric by one inches because when you are sewing, you want to sew off the label. You don't want a situation where after wearing your skirt, you'll be seeing the fabric label at the center front of your skirt. So when you overlap, overlap it by one inch so that you'll be sewing off that label part of the skirt. So follow the way I did my like so it's very easy just follow the way you see me doing it on the screen and that's that the next thing you are going to do is is add extra pins so that when you flip it over to the other side, it will be easy for you to cut out. And that is what I'm doing right now. Adding a, a strap pin to the fabric. Okay. I'm flipping this over to the other side. It will be easy for me to cut. Can you see? Okay. Make sure you arrange your skirts. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to take my scissors. And cut it. Kate, 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 So after cutting, this is what your skirt will be looking like. Very nice. So I went to add the strappings. Right now, we'll go to, I'm taking this to my machine and so concealing the label inside of the seam and that's that let me take this to my machine now so After sewing, I give my skirt a nice press, and this is what it's looking like right now. Very nice. I consider the label while sewing, and because it's the center front of the skirt, you don't want the label to be showing. Next thing, I cut my band offline and I've fused it with an interfacing, and this is what it's looking like right now. So I'm Right now, I'm notching the center front of the skirt 
and this is what it's going to look like the next thing i'm going to measure the center phones and when i did i noticed that it's slightly more than my waist so i'm going to run a loose stitch on it to ease it see i've run the loose stitch on it to ease it into my band it's not gathered like it's slightly more than my waist measurement so i'm going to ease it into the band i'm not gathering it all there's no gather on the skirts just easing it i hope you understand and i pick my up my band i've already saw the extended parts of the band so it was later that i noticed that i don't have any black zip anymore so i decided to use this white invisible zip so i'll have to fix this zip before pinning my band to the waist um, part of the skirt then after fixing my zip i'm going to sew in such a way that i concealed that um, label at the center back of the skirt next i'm going to do i'm going to be pinning my zip before sewing because this method for me it makes my whole life a lot easier is either you pin or you or you sew one edge of the zip to the fabric then you sew so right now i'm pinning the zip to the fabric remember the back seam allowance is one inches So while you sew, make sure you pull your fabric to one, your zip to one side, so that when you sew, your seam will be closer to the tip, like the tip of the zipper. After sewing my zip, I went ahead to finish the center back of the skirt by sewing only one inch seam allowance. While sewing, I concealed the clothes label. And when I got to the zipper part, I sew upward one inch, then back stitch to secure my seam.
I took it to my person table and give my skirt a nice voice. The next thing I did, I pinned my band to this waist. So I'm taking this to my machine to stew. After sewing, this is what it's looking like. I sew one side of the band to the wrong side of the skirt. This is what it's looking like. The next thing I did, I tuck in my seams and fold on an half inch seam allowance on the center front of the skirt and I pinned it down so that when I take this to my machine, it will be very easy for me to sew. So do yours the way I did mine and if you have other method that used to fix your band to your skirt, your trouser, you can use it. This is one of the easiest method. I'm done pinning my band to the skirt. I'm taking it to my machine to sew. And when you sew, please don't forget to sew on a 1/8 seam allowance, 1/8, 1 1/8 of an inch. And after seeing my band, I gave it a nice voice.
and this is the final look i love this kit <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel good morning afternoon and even evening wherever you are bye <laughs> thank you for watching